Good afternoon. Welcome to the seventh annual conference of ISPAGAM, the Indian Society of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition, which is the Pediatric Gastroenterology chapter of Indian Academy of Pediatrics. This conference was scheduled to be held in Jaipur on the same dates, but COVID-19 has forced us to make it an e-conference. But it's had its unexpected benefits too. Our conference annually attracts around 500 delegates at best. But today, this e-conference, we have had around 2,500 registrations from all parts of India, from the big metro cities to the small towns and maybe even villages. And to cater to this diverse audience, we have designed an academic program to suit them all. Problem-based learning or case-based discussions interspersed with short talks and video presentations. I hope you all have a good and rich learning experience over these next two days. You can post your questions on the chat box and due to a constraint of time, the answers will be provided on our website uh, of ISPAGAM. To inaugurate this conference, we are happy to welcome Dr. Deidre Kelly, a doyen of, of uh, pediatric hepatology and currently professor at the Birmingham Children's Hospital. She has trained and inspired a generation of pediatric gastroenterologists all over the world. I'm happy to invite her to this uh, conference. Over to Dr. Deidre Kelly. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure to open this important virtual meeting and welcome you all to the seventh annual meeting of the Indian Society of Pediatric Gastroenterology, Hepatology and Nutrition. I have had the privilege of attending such meetings in the past and much appreciated being part of the faculty and sharing my experience while learning from you about the differences of disease presentation and management in India. I know the organizing committee have worked hard to develop a strong program and convert it to a virtual very interesting virtual meeting. This meeting is focused on the wider involvement of paediatricians across India, highlighting both rare and everyday issues in paediatric gastroenterology, hepatology and nutrition. This is both timely and essential to improve outcomes for your patients. I am delighted also to see guest faculty from abroad who will share their own experience of acute liver failure and inflammatory bowel disease, both difficult diseases to manage worldwide. As many of you know, I was born and brought up in Calcutta and have continued my warm relationship with India over all those years. I've had the opportunity to visit often in, to you and your many units but most importantly, to train many talented paediatricians from India, some of whom have returned home and established their own high quality practices and units. I am sorry that it is not possible for us all to be present in person, to learn from each other and enjoy each other's company. In particular, it's, a, it's so sad we can't all be together to enjoy those marvelous social events that are so characteristic of your meetings. These are difficult times for all of us, and I know how badly the coronavirus pandemic has affected India. But I'm impressed with how many of you have continued to support your patients and families, despite the risks to your own health. I would like to end by thanking the organizing committee for all their hard work, and in particular, thanking you for your dedication to your patients. I wish you all a successful and productive meeting and only wish I could be with you in person. Thank you. <laughs>